And then, you know, the rain also was coming down in Flagstaff for most of the day, impacting a community that is still recovering from a very wet and very dangerous monsoon season. People living there, they started to stress out when they heard about the severe weather warning today. Kara Hay reports from up north. Sandbags and sludge are the reality for many people in this sunny side neighborhood in Flagstaff who say they're still dealing with the devastation from this monsoon season. So rain was the last thing they wanted to see in the forecast today. So lost our counters. The project that never seems to end. Lindsay Cooch says the August 17th flood on the museum burn scar destroyed her home. They had to rip up their floors, tear down their sinks and get rid of most of their appliances. Right now we're about seven grand deep. So she says when she saw severe weather warnings today and rain piling up in her backyard. I was stressed out, very stressed out. Sharon Tewksbury Bloom says she knew today was a low risk day for flooding, but she says it's flooded before during low risk days, so she was prepared. Even though she was hoping when the monsoon officially ended on September 30th, she wouldn't have to be. I was ready to take down these sandbags. <laughs> I was counting on actually last week. I thought, all right, that's officially the end of monsoon season. I am ready. We're going to have a wall opening party. I'm going to take down the sandbags. And then I just kept looking at the forecast and every seven day forecast I looked at still had rain in the forecast. And I thought, I'll just wait a little bit longer. I'll just wait a little bit longer and I'm still waiting. I don't know when I can take them down. Something else she can't take down, her guard. Tewksbury Bloom says she plans on attending a meeting tomorrow where Flagstaff's mayor and officials with Coconino County will learn if the city will receive federal funds. What? What can we do at the state legislature? Are there funds that we need to appropriate? Is there legislation we need to run and change statutes like for the insurance? State Representative David Cook, who you just heard from, says he's not banking on the feds giving the Flagstaff community any money, but he is hopeful. And that meeting is happening tomorrow at 10 a.m. And that's when we will learn how much money Flagstaff will receive if they're granted it. In Flagstaff, Kiara Hay, Arizona's family.